Stripe account recovery. I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to get your Stripe account back if it disappears. My name is Maria Sparagas and I am the founder of Direct Payment and I help thousands of seven and eight figure merchants figure out their payment processing so they're reliable and hassle-free. Today, I'm really gonna dive in on what happens if your Stripe account just suddenly disappears. So the first thing is to understand the issue. It's important for you to know why your account has been suspended or why the account disappeared. I mean, for sure, that's one of the most frustrating things that can happen if you're running a business, not being able to access your Stripe account and knowing if you're getting your money and your payments and so forth. Now I'm going to cover the most common scenarios as to, you know, why this might happen to you. And I'll explain a little bit later steps that you can take to make sure that you recover your account and this doesn't happen again. And as I said, knowing the problem is really half the battle because then it's easier to solve when you're able to understand why this happened in the first place. Now, the most common cause is really forgotten email or password. Now, if you don't have 2FA enabled, um, you know, usually you can just press forgotten password and you're able to go ahead and take the steps necessary. Most Stripe users and Stripe accounts have a two-factor authentication, a 2FA enabled. So you will need to have access either to a mobile phone or an alternate email address in order to be able to get a code that will give you access to reset your password and get into your account. Now, I know this sounds really simple, but time and time again, Again, I see people just trying to guess and guess and guess and guess. And then what happens is if you try numerous times, then Stripe thinks your account is trying to be frauded or somebody's trying to fraud you and they may block your account altogether. So if you try once or twice and the password does not work, your best bet is really to just try a forgotten password, get access to the 2FA code and go through that route. Don't try 10 times. You may lock yourself out and which makes matters worse and more complicated for you to actually sign in. Now, if that is not the problem, then another possible reason for your account randomly disappearing is because Stripe has suspended or closed your account. Now, I'm not gonna get into depth with that subject because that is something that I have tons of videos on and I will link down below in the description what you can do if Stripe has suspended or closed your account and steps you need to take. But obviously, if they have suspended your account, uh, the important thing is to verify all your email addresses that Stripe could have written to, check your spam folders and so forth so they so you can understand why they suspended your account and you know the reason and as of what date and so forth so you know understanding this suspension or the closure is going to be very important for you and which steps you need to take and as I said the videos are down below you can take a look and I have some great strategies on what you can do to make sure that your business continues to be up and running and you don't miss any sales now, another thing that may have happened if you checked your inbox and you see that it, your account has not been suspended or closed and so forth, um, and it's not a forgotten password, it's possible depending on how many people have access to your Stripe account that you may have accidentally deleted it. Now, this is kind of a 911 issue because deleting your Stripe account could result in them having you reopen a new account and obviously you losing any subscriptions or any customer tokens that you may have and so forth. So, um, you know, there are a lot of things that you can do to try to recover it, but the sooner you figure out that, you know, your account's been deleted, the better. And obviously I do recommend every single day you should be getting a deposit from Stripe if you have sales. If you see a deposit is missing, uh, for whatever reason, it's important to get onto your account and see if there's any holds or if there's any warnings or anything. Usually what Stripe does is, you know, obviously they send emails, which is very important, but within your client portal, you have a messaging center and a lot of merchants and businesses kind of ignore that, but that's where Stripe sends you your information and tells you about your account and tells you if there's something wrong and so forth. So make it a habit, at least on a weekly basis, if not every day, to make sure to check your messaging center and see any kind of notices that are on your account and so forth. And obviously if you have accidentally deleted your account um, the most important thing is to try to recover it as quickly as possible don't wait you know if they're still paying you out for previous sales and so forth it's still important that you contact stripe as soon as possible to get it up and running if you've been closed less than 30 days usually they will just re-enable the account and you should be fine if it's over 30 days what's going to happen is that you're going to need to reopen another stripe account and obviously one thing that may happen is you will have to import 
your customers from your old Stripe account into your new one. So you can continue, for example, subscriptions or having your customer informations for upsells and so forth. So, you know, obviously within a 30 day period, they're usually able to get your account recovered and, you know, let you start processing again. And if it's over 30 days, I mean, that could take a little bit of negotiation, but one thing you should be aware is that Stripe has something called an account recovery form. So if for example, you forget your password and you don't have access to your 2FA, uh, you know, email or phone number or so forth, or if you've deleted the account and you're not able to kind of re-enable it, just Google Stripe account recovery form, and you'll get onto a Stripe website and you'll be able to fill out that account recovery form. This will go a lot faster than just writing to support or trying to go through the regular channels. These forms actually have a whole team that reviews them and goes quickly through them to obviously get you back up and running. So fill out that account recovery form. If you're unable to access your Stripe account, obviously, as I said, just make sure you've checked your inboxes and you haven't been suspended or shut down in other scenarios. That account recovery form is really going to be your best tool in order to get things done quickly and the most efficiently. As I've seen in the past, emails take way longer than the account recovery form that's from Stripe. Now, obviously, once you submit that account recovery form, Stripe is not just going to magically reopen your account and so forth. So you really need to keep an eye out on your inbox and make sure that you respond as quickly as possible to Stripe and any questions they may have and check your spam folder, check your social folder, check your promo folder. Sometimes the emails kind of just go randomly because Stripe has sends out so many emails, um, Gmail, for example, Hotmail and so forth may be putting them in the wrong folder for you. So just make sure you keep on top of it, make sure that you're looking out for anything that comes from Stripe and that you respond as quickly as possible. If you submit an account recovery form to Stripe, they will likely ask you for ID. They will ask you some questions about your business to make sure that when they reopen it, you're the actual person that owns the account. So, you know, you must submit at least probably one government issued ID with a photo and they may ask for other state uh, bank statements or anything else that will prove that you are who you say you are and that that account belongs to your business. So usually you should get a response within a day or two at most for an account recovery form, but there is some follow-up questions that you need to respond to as quickly as possible. If you take too long to respond to the account recovery form emails, what happens is they close the request and then you have to redo it all over again. And obviously the cycle starts over again. What I would really recommend is if you send the account recovery form, you also, you will get like an ID for that request. You can also send an email at the same time at Stripe support. So you have kind of everything working at the same time for you. Now, in closing, once your account has been recovered, one of the most important things is to really choose a strong password. You know, no, no birthdays or kids' names or dogs' names and so forth. You really need to have a strong password. Now, you may want to consider like a password vault of some sort and, you know, to make sure that you keep things safeguarded and you have access to that. Also, your two-factor authentication, you can have multiple phone numbers or email addresses and so forth. So, for example, if you lose access to your Gmail account or you change your phone number, whatever the case is, it's not the only way that they're able to recover your account. You want to at least put, let's say one email address and one phone number. So if one fails, at least you have the other one as a backup because it could be very problematic if you're not able to reset your password because you don't have access to that particular method of contact. And as I said earlier, do regular checkups, make sure anything that comes from Stripe really you know, you take a quick look at it, make sure it's nothing important or anything that you have to action. You know, Stripe sends a lot of emails. So, you know, you can create some alerts and different processes in your inbox to make sure that you see the right ones. But if they have questions or if they're asking things about your business and you don't respond, odds are they will suspend your account and they do this very quickly. They give you a couple of days, sometimes very little notice for you to send information. So make sure, you know, you create yourself some alerts, whether you're using Gmail, Hotmail or Outlook, you know, you can create these alerts quite easily. Anything that comes from at stripe.com should be marked as important, should not be marked as spam and so forth. And if they ask, for example, your IDs or bank statements or anything like that about your business, you want to be quick. You want to respond to make sure you avoid any potential suspensions or closures. Now, if you do need a backup solution, for example, you're working with Stripe and they did suspend your account. As I said, I have the episodes down below and you can always contact myself or a member of my team at Direct Payment and we can get you an alternate solution to Stripe if you do need one. I thank you so much for listening. Please leave your comments and please press that like button if you enjoyed this episode and you found it useful. Thank you so much. Have a great day.